Let me show y'all something. Saitama, in fact, took damage again. People are really underestimating Garo ability to copy. I'm not going to lie. I underestimated his limitations when it came to copying. When Saitama struck him, Garo's literally spitting up blood here. He's literally spitting up blood here. Okay. He's spitting up blood here too after Saitama grabbed the portal and shift him and socks him in the face again. See that black spit? That's that that's blood he's coughing up. Garo own attack power isn't hurting Saitama. Saitama's receiving no damage from Garo's own attacks. Okay. None of Garo's own attacks is doing anything to Saitama. He's hitting him with all this, and none of it is working. Saitama socks Garo in the face again. He spits up blood again. I'm not talking about his shell cracking. I'm talking about the spit of blood that's literally coming from his mouth right there. There's no denying it. They showed you three times how it, how blood looks coming from Garo mouth. This is where a lot of people underestimate Garo. They actually think he's not copying Saitama actual power when in fact this literally confirmed he is copying Saitama actual power and the exact strength behind it so strong he's limitlessly strong the set another character that got a huge power boost from god itself that granted him all the powers of the universe is saying this if that's the case then i'll just have to copy him limitlessly until i win bro garo's fucking busted only reason he's not going to beat Saitama is because Saitama is even more busted. The moment Garo copied Saitama again, that's when he is able to do damage again. Garo's own attacks aren't able to do damage. That gamma ray burst didn't do damage to him. The nuclear fission didn't do damage to him. That barrage of attacks didn't do damage to Saitama. The only time Saitama has actually been damaged is when Garo literally copied Saitama power and threw it back at him. We all thought that Garo copying ability had a limitation to it, and I did copy it and, and cap it out as universal, but it's not looking like it's just universal, my guy. Don't underestimate Garo. Granted, Saitama is still holding back even though he said, oh, I can, hold on. Even though Saitama literally says, oh, well, at least I can cut loose at full power against a guy who can stay up. But yet proceeds to say one hand is all I need for you. Technically, he's still holding back since he's only using one hand. And if y'all paid attention to the fight, Saitama has been using one hand this entire time. The entire time. It's been people to, that said, oh, that was spit that Saitama sped up. I literally showed y'all what it looks like for Garo to spit up blood. In all these instances, so y'all can't be like, oh, that's just spit. No, Garo's coughing up blood, my guy. Right there, he coughed up blood as well. It's just not as detailed as this right here. But he coughed up still. He coughed up blood here as well. And on top of that, if you look around it, his armor is starting to crack. So you got blood and his armor is cracking also. And Garo got tired of it. More confirmation that Saitama is literally limitlessly strong. He's not questioning it. So strong. He's limitlessly strong. If that's the case, then I'll just copy how to copy him limitlessly until I win. He didn't finally do damage again until 
he copied Saitama power. Let me tell y'all. Let me show y'all. Oh yeah. He's spitting up blood and chunks of his armor is coming off. Garo. His his, his shit. I think he's gonna get knocked out of that god that god form. People literally said, well, that's just chunks of Garo armor. I'm like, dude. His chunks of armor are not coming from Garo Fist. That's literally blood Saitama spinning up. Over here is blood spinning up and chunks of armor getting knocked off. But over here, Saitama just spitting up blood. So coming back and looking at this, this is confirmation that Saitama, in fact, did take damage when Garo copied his power. People was like, oh, it was just a suppressed Saitama, which is correct. People don't, these, a lot of the One Punch Man fandom don't want to admit, and they keep coming up with excuses, but Saitama power can literally hurt him. They, they keep on saying, well, wait for the next chapter to get more confirmation. This is even more confirmation. He admitted to being scratched. He took damage, man. He said to the kid, don't worry, he can't scratch me. But he wasn't able to keep that promise. Saitama did damage. Garo did damage by literally using Saitama power against him. In the way it's looking, Garo copy ability is far stronger than what we thought it was. I know my stuff, people. I pay attention to detail. Saitama mode consecutive normal punches. Consecutive normal punches. This should have been a dead giveaway when he matched Saitama blow for blow that he literally copied the exact power from Saitama technique itself. Boom, and they both traded blows. Saitama spit up a little. Garo spit up as well. But yeah, people, stop with the excuses. This is confirmation that Saitama very own power when it's copied the way Garo is doing it can in fact hurt Saitama. This is not the same as literally just deflecting Saitama own punch back at him. No, 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 no. Garo literally has the ability to copy someone's technique and the power behind it. And it's looking like it really don't have a limit to it. So, but it's painfully obvious that Saitama is still holding back. Saitama has not yet delivered the actual one punch to Boros. I mean, to Garo. So, please people, don't be up in my comment section talking about some. That's just spit when it's clearly blood. Or that's just sweat. No. Somebody went as, to, as far as to say, oh, Garo doesn't have blood. He doesn't bleed. To negate the fact, to, in an attempt to say, since Garo doesn't bleed, that means that's not blood coming out of Saitama's mouth. It's just spit. Boy, uh, it, it just needs to stop. I'm not making any more videos addressing this. If you're still, if you're still so biased to the fact that you're coming up with excuses... To deflect from what's actually going on and being shown in your face then I can't take your opinion seriously anymore I just can't a lot of people thought that Saitama was supposed to react a certain way when he finally got damaged but since he didn't react a certain way when he was damaged they chalked it off as oh that means he didn't take damage so many people are using this argument is getting on my nerves Y'all convinced y'allself that Saitama is supposed to react a certain way from receiving damage. But the reality is, even though Saitama has finally found a strong opponent, he's still not excited. Y'all told, everybody thought that he was supposed to be excited, but the reality is he's not excited. It, it is what it is. Saitama says he's going full power, but yet, He's only using one hand. Come on. 
But yeah, in conclusion, Saitama took damage. Do not come in my comment thread with your head cannon arguments talking about something he didn't take damage. Because it's painfully obvious he took damage. I'm one of the YouTubers who are going to keep the biased nonsense out of the picture. I'm looking at shit for what it is. And I'm delivering the factual information. If you don't like that I'm just straight up delivering the honest truth, then this channel ain't for you. It, it, it's, it's not for you. This is an agree. This is not a agree to disagree thing. Saitama literally took damage. It is what it is. From his very own power. I know it's people that's going to be like, oh, this level of attack can hurt. So, no, 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 no. The blows that Saitama was giving Garo in the beginning were not stronger than a Gamma Ray Burst. But since Saitama power literally doesn't care about how strong the opponent is, it still does damage. To put it simple, I can't say, well, if you attack, if somebody uses an attack that ignores durability, it's going to work on Saitama. Because that would be false. Because Garo literally used an attack that attacks the organs directly, which bypasses durability. Saitama power itself isn't something that just bypasses durability. It literally ignores how strong the opponent is. That is far, far greater than just simply bypassing your opponent's durability. So, no. I go more in depth about that in another video, but Saitama can be hurt by his own power. Simply deflecting his punch back at him isn't the same as literally copying his power and using it against him. It's not the same. 